Right then guys, welcome back. It's me, TFT, and yes, we are back with another street food review. Now then, we've come to Lister Hills Road, a place called Flip's Calf, which is just down there on your left. That little building there, we heard quite a lot about this place. We actually come down to try out their pizzas, but apparently on a Sunday, they don't do pizzas. So I said, what's your next best thing? He said, try our desi breakfast. And you know what? Even though it's dinner time, desi breakfast sounds absolutely banging. So let's have a look. We move down here just a bit so you get up. Right then. Prices, description, opening times, menus will be dropped down in the description box. Let's have a look at what we got. We're gonna do this before the rain starts because the rain looks as though it's coming. Right then, we got ourselves halwa puri. Halwa puri is a very, 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 very traditional Asian breakfast. Have a look at this. Let's have a look at the halwa first. Have a look at that. Wow. This happens to be one of my father's favorite dishes. He tells me back in the day when they used to be farmers on a morning they would have halwa puri because it is full and full of calories, full of energy, full of carbs and it kept him going all day. However, in Pakistan the weather's hot, they sweated it out. When we eat stuff like this we put on about a stone just by looking at the damn thing. Right, let's move on. Halwa. Another traditional thing that comes with this halwa is the puri. Have a look at the puri. Now for those of you who haven't tried halwa puri before, I really, really, really highly recommend it. Uh, it's a traditional Pakistani Indian subcontinental breakfast. Let's have a look. These are nice, they're light as well. They're fried in oil. But by the time they come out, they tend to be really nice, dry and crispy. Not as greasy as what you usually get. Let's try it with the halwa. Now, this is the way you're supposed to eat it. You're supposed to scoop it up like that. And then, you just dive in. Wow. The first thing I will say about that halwa, it's very smooth. It just tends to melt away. It looks dry, it looks gritty, but when you put it in your mouth, it just slides. You've got pieces of coconut in there as well. Also, you got sultanas. You got a bit of all sorts, a bit of almonds, a bit of nuts. This all enhances the flavor of the halwa and gives it a really, really sweet taste. This is a very, very sweet breakfast. Like I said before, traditionally found in the subcontinent. Absolutely creme de la creme. I like them as well. They're very nice, they're light, they're airy. Usually after eating one of these, you can't even get up for a week. These tend to be nice, they're light, they're fluffy, work well with the halwa. Assalamu alaikum. You okay, my brother? There we go. Let's take another scoop of that. I think I've had about 500 calories in two bites, but never mind, gym time tomorrow morning. Wow. Amazing. Since our channel started, we've been looking uh, for some proper desi desi breakfast, some decent desi breakfast. A lot of places nowadays claim to do the desi breakfast, but you find when it comes to desi breakfast, they aren't desi breakfasts at all. They might have a frozen paranta, they might not have proper alva, they might not do the puringa, they might not do the chani. Now we're moving on to the chickpeas, have a look at these. What comes with halwa puri sometimes? Well, most of the times are chickpeas. Chickpeas curry, have a look. I'm gonna give this a bit of a swirl. Oh, it's got potatoes in as well. That's a good thing. I've never seen one with potatoes in before. But you're supposed to dip this in here, really get that curry flavor. There's not much butter on there. It's mainly all the sauces and that. You can see the butter around the side, but it's not that much butter on there, which is a good sign. This is gonna be a really decent sauce, I can tell you. Amazing. 
This kind of breakfast are best served when it's cold, when it's damp, and when it's miserable. And today is that sort of day. So today the TFT is going to be enjoying his alva puri, his alva anchane with the puringa. Here it goes. Have a look. Let's try some chickpeas. Chickpeas. Wow. Amazing. One thing I will say about it as well, it's not that heavy, it's light. I was expecting it to be heavy. Whenever somebody says to me, they see breakfast, you straight away, you start envisaging a really heavy, heavy breakfast that's gonna make you feel lazy, make you feel bloated. But I can tell you now, them pudding were nice, they were light, they were fluffy. Now then, we also got ourselves a paranta. Let's have a look at the paranta. By the way, prices will be in the description box also guys if you like the content if you like watching tft if you like what we are doing drop us a like hit the thumbs up hit the comments like share and please subscribe let's have a look we're moving on to the front huh? the grand unveil the grand unveil a lot oh look at this oh mate you know what amazing First thing I'm going to say, it's not a frozen paranta. That is a massive, massive, massive thing for me. I'm so happy because usually when I go to Desi places, they'll end up giving me a frozen paranta and say, there you go TFT, there's your paranta. That there is fresh. It's not your frozen type. And that is a good size, a decent size as well. Look how big that paranta is. Get a close up of that. You can see how big it is. And you got the omelette, Desi omelette. You got your eggs, you got your peppers, you got your onions, you got your spices. And you got bags of bags of taste. Let's have a look. Break into this egg. If you see that, you can see all the little herbs and spices in there. They got the peppers in, onions. Well cooked egg as well. You wrap your paranta around that egg and you say Bismillah. Wow. Even though TFT came here wanting a pizza, TFT is having a dirty breakfast. In the middle of Bradford, it's raining, it's damp, it's miserable. But you know what? TFT is having the time of its life. One more bite of this before we move on to a score. Have a look at this here. Now then, the omelette as well, perfectly spiced. You got a bit, of, you got potatoes in there as well. You can see the onions, perfectly spiced. You got a nice taste of egg. Sometimes the spice can overpower the egg as well. Everything works in harmony, and that paranta is offering a cool, soothing wrap around that omelette eggs. Hmm. What a lot of people do with the desi breakfast is this. They'll wrap the paranta like that with the omelette in the middle. And guess what? You can walk about mobile in one hand, munching away in the other. And that's what this is about. Amazing. Wow. Also, I'm going to give an honourable mention to the service in there. The lads, absolutely amazing, went in there. They couldn't have been more helpful than what they were. And I'm going to tell you now, it's one of those places, have a look. It's one of those blink and you'll miss it kind of places. But here on the channel is what we concentrate on. It's places like that. The ones that are small, the ones that are hidden, the ones that don't get all the limelight, the ones that don't get all the social media coverage. It's places like that that make TFT and it's food like that that makes TFT happy. Now then, moving on to score. TFT, it's going to be a high one, absolutely amazing. 
prices, like I said, will be in the description box. They're not expensive, they're all they're doing pizzas, they do burgers, they do quite a bit in there. They see breakfast as well. TFT is gonna be leaving FIP. That's what they called FIP. FIP Cafe and Pizzeria, a very respectable 9.4. That's right, that desi breakfast is absolutely amazing. 9.4 for the FIP pizzeria. You guys have officially been food troll certified. And we shall see you guys for the next one.